Alright, today we're going to be changing out the antenna and base on my wife's 2011 Chevy Equinox. You can see it suffers from ISL, insufficient length. Uh, the process I cover in this video is going to be the same or similar on a lot of different vehicles, not just GMs. Uh, you see a lot of these rear roof mounted antennas and a lot of them are broken just like this one, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. You're going to want to get the right base if you're buying one for a Chevy. Uh, it makes a difference whether or not you have uh, digital radio or not, okay? It's a three wire for a digital radio, it's a two wire for uh, a radio that doesn't have digital capabilities, okay? Let's take a look at it real quick. Alright, obviously because it's a rear roof mounted antenna, we need to access it from the back here, so we're going to pull this sort of trim piece down. Uh, before we do that, we're actually going to pull these garment hangers just to give us some more uh, flexibility without ripping this thing down and breaking anything, okay? It's a number one Phillips, and you want to pull both sides. Alright, so I'm just going to use one of these uh, trim removal tools and uh, kind of get up under the uh, weather stripping. Okay. And see what it looks like, okay? Let me uh, zoom in for a closer look here so you can see as well. Okay, that right there is what we're after, okay? It's a 10 millimeter uh, bolt, uh, based on the new one anyways. Uh, and the connectors are right there for this one, okay? Let me put the camera back on the tripod and grab a wrench. All right, I'm gonna start by removing the connections here. There's little push tabs here. Okay, now this uh, was glued or silicone to the roof uh, piece here, so I'll probably do that when we're done. I'll just dab a little bit of glue or silicone and put that back in place, okay? So now we need to access that bolt, and I'm going to try a quarter inch uh, ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's got a little, uh, like a little clip on it, okay? Let's uh, remove it from the roof. Okay, so there was this little plastic clip piece and it's on the new one as well. So you wanna make sure you get that out of the roof piece. Uh, you don't wanna leave it up in there. And uh, I did notice that there is a gasket on here too. So when you tighten it down, make sure that it's nice and tight and that this is uh, flush against the roof. So I cleaned off the roof a little bit uh, to mount the new one. Okay, and that clip makes it so this won't uh, rotate when we put the uh, bolt in, okay? Let's go tighten it down. Okay, and I want to get it fairly tight so it uh, doesn't leak, but I don't want to break it, okay? So, keep that in mind. All right, let's hook it up real quick and put it back together. Obviously, they're color-coded, and there's a little notch on the top, and that goes on the same side as the little push clip. I'm just gonna throw some silicone on the bottom of that. Hopefully, it'll stick back in place, but it's probably not real important. So hopefully this video has been helpful. I'm going to put this back together here and then we need to wind, uh, wind the antenna back on and my wife will be back in business. Um, if you have questions, leave them below. There's a little uh, trim clip here in the, on the driver's side in the back and we need to wind our uh, garment hangers back up and we'll be done. Thanks for watching. Give me that thumbs up if you found this video helpful. And uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Leave questions and comments below and have fun.